As you're partaking of communion with Jesus, he also gives you some new wine. In that new wine is the pathway of your ascension, the ecstasy and bliss of his presence. And he just gives you that new wine with communion and you just start drinking. As you drink that new wine, feel your spirit being saturated, your DNA entangling with his, your spiritual senses being heightened, and just starting to get drunk in his love. Just, just carry on drinking that new wine. As you drink the new wine, feel your spirit just starting to lift and ascend. With each swallow, you are just going higher and higher in him. Feel his joy starting to stir in your spirit. Jesus takes your hand and you just start to ascend higher into his kingdom realms. You just feel the physical realm starting to disappear as Jesus just takes you deeper into his kingdom realm. Keep on going higher. Spirit realm becomes more tangible, the physical realm disappearing. As Jesus just continues to ascend you deeper.
Just keep on going higher. This phase is important because it's desensitizing your spirit from the physical realm and accentuating the spirit realm. As you're moving higher now, a doorway and a portal is opening up through which Jesus is taking you into. And he lands you in front of a treasury room. This treasury room is positioned inside the heart of Yahweh. As Jesus is moving you towards that treasury room in the heart of Yahweh, in front of that gate, there's an angel with a scroll. And on that scroll is every single gemstone that is embedded in your crown as a king. That angel hands you your crown as king, but that crown has not been adorned with the jewels to decorate it. Each jewel or gemstone represents something. An authority and a realm that he is allocating to you to rule and reign. It can be absolutely anything. It can be a character trait of yours. I want you to take that scroll from the angel. And I want you to take the crown, but you're not putting the crown on yet. And I walk you through the gateway into the heart of Yahweh. And as you are in his heart, you are on the pathway that leads you towards this treasury room. In this treasury room, is the realm of the kings, or is part of the realm of the kings the realm of kingship. You are still with Yeshua. And you are walking with him on this pathway to the treasury room. At this treasury room, there's a gateway that opens and you step into the treasury room. The treasury room is galaxies wide. It's the most magnificent place that you could ever imagine. Adorned with every single jewel, gemstone, precious stone that you can think of. In that realm are the angels that facilitate those jewels, gemstones. I want you to lift up your crown, and as you look at your crown, 
you will see there are key places that need settings or a jewel that needs to go in there. Jesus wants you to adorn your crown with the doors and gates of authority that he has allowed you to access within his heart. The angels come and they are circling around you as they're going to journey with you to discover your gemstones that you are going to put in your crown. Your crown represents your realm of rulership. And whatever your desire and you feel your purpose is that Yahweh has given you as a king, you are going to place those gemstones within your crown. As you look ahead of you and you'll see in this treasure room, there are different levels that you can access and gemstones that you can pick to put into your crown. So there are five stones that you are going to go and pick and put into your crown. So your angel is with you and you are walking with Jesus and you're asking him, what are the stones that are written in the scroll that you need to put into your crown. They can be character traits. They can be responsibilities, realms of authority, kingdoms, domains, abilities. So I'm going to give you a moment to journey with Jesus in the treasury room and you are going to fetch these stones and you are going to put them into your crown. So five of them, each one representing something different of your rulership as a king. And you're going to put it in your crown with Jesus and then we'll take it from there.
if you are not able to identify the stones, then you just put them in by faith. Maybe you don't know what they mean, but you can identify the color. Give you another two minutes.
Uh, as you're in this treasury room with Jesus, and your crown that's adorned with the gemstones, maybe you were able to get all of them, maybe you haven't, maybe you know what they are, maybe you don't know what they are yet, maybe you've seen the colors. But I want you to take that crown, and Jesus takes the crown from you. And he puts it upon your head. As he puts that crown on your head, the frequency of every gemstone starts to penetrate your spirit man from the top of your head, moving down to the sole of your feet. In each of those frequencies, it is resonating the blueprint and scroll of the gemstone, whatever it represents. So if a gemstone represents wisdom, the blueprint of wisdom is being released and activated in your spirit, man. I want you to go through the process of each one releasing a frequency and a vibration into your spirit, aligning your spirit man to its blueprint and activating it into your kingship. So as it's released into your spirit, into your DNA, you breathe in deeply as it activates your spirit and you breathe out. As you're activating that frequency in your spirit, it's starting to twirl and swirl in your spirit. And it releases, it's like creating a garment that is being wrapped around you. Like a kingly robe goes over your shoulders. An angel comes and puts a scepter in your hand. But that scepter has no jewels on it yet. Now there is one gemstone in your crown that's the chief gemstone. Whichever one that is, the angel brings you a duplicate of the gemstone to place it onto your scepter. So it adorns the crown or the end part of that scepter. As you put it in, your scepter is activated.
Jesus once again takes you and he leads you through the treasury room and you are ascending upwards. And you are moving deeper into the realm of kingship in the heart of Yahweh. You have your crown on, you have your scepter in your hand. And Jesus ascends with you in the realm of kingship in the heart of Yahweh. And you are just rising, going deeper. Just keep on rising. A portal opens and you are standing on the mountain of God, on Mount Zion. And through every direction that you can look at from Mount Zion, you see all the different worlds from the north, south, east to west. With the stones that adorn your crown, you are going to raise your scepter and you're going to look towards the east. And you're going to say, I declare my kingship to the realms of the east. And I declare. And then you name whatever your stones are, spirit of wisdom or realm, whatever it is. And so you go through each one of the wind directions from the east to the west, from the north to the south. You raise your scepter. I declare my kingship to the realms of the east. And then you start naming your stones and releasing it into that direction.
I'll give you another minute. And if you are Mount Zion with Jesus, Yahweh approaches you. And he is inviting you to the king's table. At the king's table, there's a seat for you. You take a seat and around you are other rulers of the kingdom realms sitting at the table. At this table, strategies, discussions, etc. take place. But Yahweh is asking you, what do you need for you to effectively execute your kingship? Now, it's not an easy answer, but take a moment and what is stirring in your spirit that Yahweh says you need to ask him for what you need to make your kingship effective.
I'll give you another minute and then we're going to do an activation regarding what you asked for. The Father comes and he raises his scepter towards you. Jesus raises his scepter. The Holy Spirit raises his scepter. Three arcing over you. It's electricity, energy flowing from those scepters. You can see the lightning and explosion of the intense glory of Yahweh just exploding between those scepters. As the three arc and they touch together, they release that which you've asked for into your crown. As it's released into your crown, it falters down into your spirit. I want you to breathe it in and out and act as it activates in your DNA. See it entangling with your DNA, electricity moving in and through your spirit man. Keep on breathing it in, keep on soaking it in as it's being activated into your spirit. As that's been activated over you, you are walking with Jesus. You just see this portal opening up with the most beautiful gates that open. And you are stepping into the throne room.
walking over the sea of glass. towards where the throne is. Jesus sits on his throne and next to his is yours as you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. And you take your seat next to his. Just want you to take a minute to soak up the environment of the throne room. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords is sitting next to you, that you are seated with him in a position of rest. And it is from this place that we open up our eyes. It's a great exercise when you focus on your kingship. Your crown and the stones represents the realms and the authority that you have over which he's entrusted you. So make it a habit of every then and when to visit the realm of kingship where he could be giving you a new stone to be added in your crown, a realm of rulership or ability, whatever it is. Activate it into your spirit, man, and that it is activated into your kingship to rule and reign and to constantly speak it out. I speak it out into the four corners of the earth as we've done it. I speak to the gates of the four winds, to the angels at the four winds, and I release my kingship into those areas. Announce it to the spirit realm. Alrighty, let's open up the floor and hear if there's anybody that'd like to share. Just remember, we are recording. It goes up on YouTube. And then we will stop the recording for those who want to share um, outside of the recording. Um, I do like some of you to share while it does record because it really helps the people to do watch the ascension, your feedback, etc. Righty, you can just raise your hand and then you can share if you'd like to. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, Susan, go for it. <laughs> it's like you try to give other people chances and then it's like, okay, wait a second. <laughs> um, uh, it, it just makes it more and more real that even though it's kind of in your imagination that it, you're actually encountering things in the spirit realm. And I think one of the things was that you later said one of them is more, one of the stones is more prominent 
And the first one I picked up, I knew was bigger and was like a kind of the cornerstone for the other ones. And then when you said there's going to be a duplicate in your scepter, it was like, oh my gosh, I was already walking through that. And after I got the stones and was kind of writing down and journaling what I felt they represented, before you said that the Lord's going to put it on your head, I felt it on my head and I felt it just pulsating frequencies through my body. And I thought, okay. And then when you said that, it was like, okay, that's the the sequence and things of what was happening. And when you're talking about walking and in, in, in the kingship, the the verse that is that I'm still walking and fleshing out is the same power that raised Christ from the dead is quickening our mortal bodies. And that these encounters in the spirit realm are actually coming from the spirit to quicken us physically so that what God's intent as far as our bodies aligning with the eternal purposes of the Lord are getting fleshed out. And it's not, so much from just calories and and what you're actually doing with your body, but how it's being put under the authority of your spirit. So it just, oh, it just feel melted. I still feel vibrating and it's like, wow, I think we're all going into this space where the more we understand who we are and and operate there, it's just going to be transforming our body as a as a byproduct almost. So um, thank you. It was pretty awesome. Wonderful. That's great engagement. Thank you, Susan. Anybody else? I'll share. Go for it, Jane. Hi. Um, this was just amazing. Uh, man, I, I feel like I could have stayed where he was depositing the thing that I needed, which for me, it was, I was wrestling with it because at first I'm just like, what do I need? Do I need more purity? Like, what do I, what do I need? You know, and it's like the fleshly things that, you know, you're trying to figure out, but the Lord said, no, he said, because it's funny, because one of my stones was pure intimacy. That was one of the stones he gave me, which was like a, this clear diamond with all these flashing colors inside. So I knew that purity was was part of it, the realm, you know, and, um, but I'm like, Lord, what is it? I could see all of these little, it was like, I could see into a stone, but it was me. And it was like, just all these markings, all of these um, imperfections. But he said no. He said, and and all of that got sucked into one tiny little dot, and then it just literally was completely dissolved in his love. And he said, "What the, the thing you're looking for is constant awareness." He said, "That's what I'm about to give you is constant awareness." And I literally felt like, "Whoo!" I can still feel it. In that moment, it was like the elect, the power, the electricity, that ability, that that the when the dove descended on Jesus after he was baptized you know it was like i felt the whole, the spirit of god like just this resonance so i'm i'm going to be walking that out for sure but this was absolutely beautiful it was yeah i feel like i could have stayed there the rest of the night at least but mm-hmm. yeah thank you it was amazing thank you jen discovering your stones is definitely a realm to pondering, you know, to to work through and just take some time then. Thanks for sharing, Jen. Anybody else before I switch off the recording? Go for it. Um, I'll share. Oh. You go ahead first. Okay, Brian, you go. Okay, um, <clears throat> so this was um, a first experience for me, and um, 
I didn't expect it to be as powerful because I've done, I've tried kind of um, a few times on my own. Um, so this was, this was really, um, really a huge experience and quite vivid. Um, and I think the one, um, w- what was interesting for me was the crown. Before I even, um, we, 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 where you first mentioned the crown, the crown to me uh, became, it was like fingers and um, uh, it was like five fingers and they were it almost like, like, like uh, keys of a piano and they were playing, you know, and um, I was kind of like, um, I'm really starting a journey um, with the Lord with regards to um, music and creating songs. And he spoke to me about them. It's like a frequency. It, it creates these frequencies. And then, of course, we went into this whole journey of experiencing those frequencies, which were placed on our head. And it was, yeah, it was just really mind-blowing for me to to experience it in a completely different way like that. So, yeah, it was awesome. Wonderful. Great engagement. Thank you for sharing, Bronwyn. And welcome to the group. Dorit, go for it. Okay. I, uh, uh, I, I wanted to actually kind of tag team on what was said earlier about um, each stone being a realm and um, that we there's more engagement needed to really fully, well, <laughs> to start to full, more fully see what the stone is about. And because in, in some sense, I quickly wrote down what the stones were about because of what Father showed me, but then he showed me, I just gave you the outer label. And there is, that is, there's so much more that once I step into each one of them, there's this deeper layers. And so there was one where the outer label kind of puzzled me. So I'll just share that one. It's the green where he, he said revelation of scientific knowledge, but also interaction with creation. And I'm like, how do those two go together? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And um, but then he said it's a realm to step into. He said you have approached something. So my creation, what I have created, and what I've placed around you, and what I have placed you inside, um, from two very different angles. On one hand, there is interaction with with creatures, with animals, with uh, with trees. But on the other hand, there's the formulas and the mathematics and physics. And he's like and. Those two are not supposed to be separate. And what that looks like, I will be exploring. <laughs> um, so I'm just really excited about, and even though some of the ones that I, I might have a better idea about, I think, um, I realize that there is, that there is other layers and realms behind them. So another one is, um, uh, um, he gave me a redstone for, uh, that was related to, to healing, and wholeness and freedom and immortality um, as the kind of final outcome of those those things. Um, but again, I, I have the sense of like we it's a realm that we step into and it starts to vibrate inside of us and we learn to to vibrate with it and come in line with that frequency and then we can also release it around us. So I was that mm-hmm. was and and when I started to pronounce the 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 mandates to each in into each uh, direction, I I realized that for some of them I needed to go deeper before I would be able to make that pronouncement and be, before I could make the declaration. And and I think declarations will have to be revised as as we learn and go deeper. Mm-hmm. So it becomes more really part of us because I also felt that when I sat ne- next to Jesus, I was like I felt. A little bit out of place, kind of like when you get into a new job and you have no clue what you're doing there. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, you put me on this committee. <laughs> and, and, uh, and that has happened in the past in other places. <laughs> and and uh, so, and I and I just felt his hand, and he said, "I paid for this, and I want you wow. here." And so I was like that's what I'm going to be vibrating first with and then the other things from there. 
Wonderful. Yo, that's fantastic. Interesting two stones, that's for sure. Thank you for sharing that, Dorit. Alrighty, I'm going to put off the recording and if there's anybody else who would like to share.